Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get around the problem where Microsoft Word won't save your normal .dot or .dotm file. My version of Microsoft Word is being a bit of a nuisance right now, and it won't save the normal .dotm file, so I can't save macros and all sorts of things. So here's the solution. I use a program called Everything, and I'm going to give you a download link for it because it's a Windows application. It's really tiny, and it's just an awesome program for finding things on your computer. What you're going to need to do is to find out where your normal .dot file or .dotm file is currently being saved. So what I've done is I've gone to Everything, and I've typed in normal .dot and that's located all versions of my dot and dotm files and this is the one I'm interested in it's the most recent one and it's actually a file not a link and you can see here that it's in my app data roaming Microsoft templates folder and it hasn't been updated very recently at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose open path because what I need to do is to get hold of this path. So I'm just going to click on it so I can see it as a proper path name. I'll right click and choose copy and I can close this down for now. Now what I want to do is to go back to Microsoft Word and do a file open. And what I want to open is that particular file. So I'm going to paste in here the folder name that I just grabbed from everything. And here it is, I'm in my templates folder. And so what I'm going to do is go down and pick up my normal .dotm file and I'm going to click open. So what I've done is I've opened the normal .dotm file inside Microsoft Word. So the one thing I need to be sure of is that I don't make changes to this file that I don't want to occur in every new file that I create. So one of the things I've been trying to do is to create some macros. So I'm just going to record a really quick macro here now. And this one actually allows me to add symbols to the ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a macro. And this is going to be a sent symbol. I'm just going to type sense. I'm going to add it to a button, click cancel. I'm going to choose insert symbol. And I've got a sense symbol here all ready to go. Click stop recording and then remove this character because I don't need it any longer. Now I'm just going to clean up while I'm here my ribbon. So I had some things here that I now want to just remove. And I'm going to my symbols and I've got my new sense symbol ready to go in. So I'm going to macros and I'm just going to put it in here. Now I have a YouTube video on exactly how to do this. So I'm going to link it in the description so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. But this is the process. So I'm just going to go and give it a little icon. Just give it the word sense. Click OK. Just check my tab here. Here are my symbols. So everything's looking really neat and my document is really empty because this is going to be my normal .dotm file. So having made the changes that I need to make to this file that Word will not regularly save, I now need to save it. So I'm going to choose File and then I'm going to use Save As because Microsoft Word seems to refuse to want to put it back where it came from. So I'm going to click Computer and click Browse. I'm going to click in here and paste the folder name that I grabbed earlier and just make sure that I'm looking at exactly the same folder. Now I've got my file here, I'll click Save and now I can close it. Now I'm going back to Microsoft Word and let's see that the changes are now sticky. Here's our symbols, here's our sent symbol, here's our check mark. So normal.dotm has been saved because if it hadn't been saved, those changes to the interface in Microsoft Word as well as the macros that are stored inside normal.dotm just wouldn't be saved. So there's a way of forcing things in to your normal.dot or your normal.dotm file in Microsoft Word. What you have to do is force open that file, make the changes to it and then force save it into the right place and then you're off and running. I hope that this video has helped you if your normal.dot or normal.dotm files weren't being saved and that you can now force save them. 
If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released and please do give it a thumbs up so others will know that it's a good video. You may also consider visiting my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint.